Hello fellow book nerds and oh my god we are at the end of March already March has been one of my best reading months honestly how has it been for you we are already at the end of the third month and there's a lot going on in my life and my lap right now because i have these many books and even more to recommend to you it's quite a big list because i am really excited because March i read so many books as i said lot of non fiction and everything and one thing i noticed in common was most or all of these books have authors in them or books within books in some way or the other which is really interesting for me so i thought hey especially march is the time for women and women writers are merging a lot so most of these books are written by women authors as well okay like i showed you i have almost 13 books over here to get through so let's just get started the first one is hitting book talk and the shelves a lot which is finley donovan is killing it This book guys oh my god so this book it's about this author named Finlay Donovan and one day she's just at a restaurant she's talking to her publisher and she's telling him like hey i have this idea for a murder mystery and she's just conveying how the murder is going to happen she's just talking about her novel but then somebody else at a table next to her overhears what she's talking and they think she's a serial killer and they are like i have somebody in my life who i want to knock off so can i hire you and can you kill them for me and from there it spins off so much and i think the author is on her fourth book right now in this series definitely pick it up it's one of the best books most funniest books i've ever read next is horror you will be expecting this which is the shining by stephen king how could i even and of course the next one would be misery by stephen king both these books have authors in them in this it's about an author who kind of his car gets stuck in the snow and he ends up going to this lady's house and that lady happens to be his biggest fan and then she forces him to write the book he wrote in a different way because her favorite character is dead and this one involves a writer who with his whole family he just goes to this isolated hotel in the middle of nowhere and they are the only ones there and he just wants to write in peace and it is a ride red drum is plastered in my mind till date so definitely pick up these two and they are super horror as well and then watch the movies also that's also an amazing way to spend the start of april next is chapter 31 by ashok basin this is a book that really took me on a ride because chapter 31 is about a book within a book uh, which involves this guy named ashutosh and she, he has just written a book about um, uh, the drug mafia and the narcotics department and everything and also a lot of government politics comes into it but out of his full book the final chapter which is chapter 31 is not fiction it's based on fact and when somebody named rahul mehra who is an ex ex chief of the narcotics department when he comes across this book it kind of takes off from there where he's trying to figure out what this person is trying to do why was this chapter done intentionally it also dives very deep into the publishing industry and politics and the government and how things work and how drug lords work and it is a ride it has so much and the ending is quite open ended as well so i am waiting for a book to you all i am <laughs> next we have rock paper scissors was there ever a time when i didn't recommend this book so this has an author in it but not necessarily a book because it involves a bunch of letters so it's basically about this husband and wife and they have alternating chapters with both of their perspectives and they are just trying to rekindle their marriage because they are just not feeling it anymore and they are just going to this isolated chapel and they are planning to stay over there for a while and just cut off from the world and the husband has face blindness so he knows somebody is there but he can't really recognize their face so he finds it hard to even recognize his wife at some points he just has to hear her voice and figure it out so are they alone is there somebody there and at the same time why did their marriage crumble like this you get alternating chapters with the husband as well as wife's perspective and then some from the wife when she used to write letters to him as well every year of their marriage so it's amazing the twist at the end blew my mind next is beach read which is a romance read and i really like this because it's about two authors one of them is i think a romance writer and the other is a very serious literary type and both of them kind of are in a slump they are not able to write any good books so they just decide to go out on a beach all day they both don't know each other by the way they meet during the beach all day and they decide like why don't we swap genres for a while i'll write the romance you write you write the literary fiction i write and a love also blossoms in the middle it's so heartwarming it's so sweet i wanted a boyfriend after i read this book and you probably will too so check it out but have some tissues with you because i'm still single guys <laughs> okay so next was actually a non fiction book i read which was awakening the rainmaker 
uh, by Nishta Anand. The reason I love this book is because she talks about gender inequality and the gender pay gap in very open terms. And the reason this features an author in it is because the author also was subjected to these problems. So you could even say some of them are from her first hand take in life. So the story itself resonates with her a lot. And even though I have never faced the gender pay gap in my life, I have heard a lot of stories from my other friends. Now that I am my own boss as well, I am able to feel that a lot because most of my employers, especially for some fields, when I go to work in some fields such as data science or data visualization or anything technical like the stock market, it's a very male dominated company. And when they see that I'm a woman, they are kind of turned off immediately. Like, do you know about this? Are you sure? They just start quizzing me. They have this unconscious bias going on. Like these are not feminine topics, so to speak. So anyways, she has addressed all these gender inequalities really well. I really enjoyed the book. You should definitely pick it up as well. Moving right on to Verity by Colin Hoover. Colin Hoover is not really one of my favorite authors. I did read It Starts With Us and It Ends With Us and my journey with her ended with It Ends With Us. So Verity is not like that. It's a thriller plus horror kind of book which involves an author named Verity and she kind of wrote this series of books and then in the end she kind of got really sick and now she's bedridden and she's not able to move. So her husband invites this author who has to come and kind of finish writing the story for it. He wants her to finish the full series. At the same time, this author and that husband kind of start getting a romance going on. Plus is Verity really bedridden or is something going on? It is creepy. It is amazing and the twist punched me in the gut. Oh my god, it was, it was so unexpected. Next up, we have the plot. The plot was really crazy because see, even in this cover, you have a book within a book. I don't want to give too much away, but basically the protagonist is kind of a teacher at some college and one of his students comes up to him. He's a writing professor or some instructor like that. I don't really remember, but he is teaching a class and right when he's teaching, one of his students comes up to him and he's really pompous and he's like, Hey, I have this story for a book and it's going to be a bestseller. It's just the best story ever. And he conveys the story and the author hears it and he's like, actually, this is quite good. Like, it is a really good story. And you do get that book within this book. There are some chapters conveying that story. But something happens to this guy and he dies. And then this author thinks, okay, the only two people in this entire world who knows this amazing story are me and that guy. And since that guy is dead, I can sell this book in my own name now. So that's what he does. He literally plagiarizes the content, sells it off in his own name and the book explodes obviously and he becomes the next big sensation. But is there somebody else who knows that this happened? Is there somebody else who knew about this whole thing and knows this is plagiarized content and they are trying to seek their revenge right now? That's what the story is about and you guys should definitely pick it up if you enjoy fast paced thrillers with an unexpected plot twist. Next up, we have Fat, Flat or Fit. I hope I'm saying this correctly. This again is a non-fiction book and I really enjoyed it because it talks about how you should maintain your health and fitness, obviously, but there are so many lifestyle changes people do without really consulting a fitness expert or a dietitian or someone. They just tend to think I want to look a certain way or I want to move into this lifestyle or this is what is in vogue right now, like keto diets or I want to start going vegan and they just go into diets and start eating unhealthy and stuff without really a goal in mind. So this book kind of breaks that down, how to be more concerned about what you're doing to your body rather than focusing solely on wanting to look a certain way or trying to fit into a certain norm or something like that. Next up, we have the poetics, which is actually an entire novel written in verse. Every single page is a poem. And the story as well deals with spoken word poetry because this person who is a black woman in the story, she's just going to school, she's discovering a bunch of stuff. There's so much powerful dialogue in this, honestly. And while she's doing all of this, she's also writing a spoken word poem of her own. She has her own notebook in which she writes a lot of different stories. It's really interesting because she's talking about various different things. And at the end, she writes this amazing spoken word poem and she uh, performs it on stage and you're literally rooting for her at that point. It is so beautiful. You should definitely check it out. And we have Home Before Dark, which is again a book that I'm always suggesting to everyone because Home Before Dark is again a book within a book where this guy has written a horror novel, but it becomes a bestseller, which is about this haunted house because they escape from this haunted house and run away. 
but there are some questions because his daughter inherits the house after a few years and she's thinking should i get this house or should i sell it off or something and that's when she realizes i don't remember any of these things like my father has written such horrible horror stories about this house and that's why we ran away from it but i don't remember any of these things did they really happen let me go and stay in that house for a while so that i can know for sure if it is really haunted or not and guys it is so scary and the parts in the book where they are featuring the book that the father wrote are really amazing look at this like it just starts with a date and then it's just the story within the story and it is amazing guys please pick it up and finally the last book i read was the color of poplars by indrani talukdar the reason i love this is because it's more of a serious note even though it's a fictional story it talks about this artist and painter named uh, Bij- binni dijo i think i'm not sure and it's about how she is kind of uh, captivating the reader with her artwork and the author as well is sharing her own stories through this and she talks about family dynamics she talks about the marginalized people in society and also into like human experiences and what people are going through in different parts of the world it's really nice because fiction is like stories are the fiction through which you convey the truth so this clearly shows that even though it's a lie and it's not really a true life incident it conveys the truth of what's going on in our society so well which is why i really liked it definitely pick it up and there you have it almost 13 books and more that feature authors in them will you pick up these books will you start writing a book of your own we would love to know thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one